hey there it's probably cold where you are and um, I'm not gloating I'm standing in my yard on January 26th <laughs> and uh, this is a grapefruit from this tree and the shade that I'm standing is actually from avocado trees and this little shrubby one to my right is a tangerine and you can just make out the edges of a fan palm behind me back there um, there's a there's a big wall of eight foot tall grass back there that's a windbreak to protect the fruit. Um, and uh, I'm still in the process of um, kind of saying goodbye to this orchard. It's a three acre organic citrus and avocado grove. And it's why we bought the house. I actually hadn't seen the house at all when I made the commitment and put down my earnest money on the property nine years ago. And um, I've spent my winters tricking it out. Every room's a different bright color. It's 1940s bungalow with beautiful pecan wood floors and I've had a great time playing in the house and then I ignored the outside because when we'd go away for the summer I'd want it to look like nothing and um, we just painted the outside of it I got to pick the color because colors my department and I thought I picked a really nice avocado green which is kind of you know it's the color everything is here um, it looks a little more like it might be lime green and um, I don't know if that was really a great choice for painting something that I want to sell. You know, they talk about neutrals. Now, culturally, I'm in Mexico, so it might not be an issue at all. Um, this place is 20 minutes to the safest town on the Mexican border, that'd be Nuevo Progreso, and one hour drive to South Padre Island, which is beautiful, beautiful beaches. Um, so it might not matter. Somebody might like a lime green house with off-white trim. It might be just what they wanted. Um, if they're not the kind of people that want to paint every room beige inside, it'll be exactly what they wanted. So I'm not gonna be mad at myself for picking that. Once I think once the greenery like reestablishes itself around the outside, it won't look as bright. But right now it's pretty bright. Um, and so again, I'm kind of planning today's fruit salad and saying goodbye to my beautiful yard because I'm trying to move about four hours north of here. This is uh, basically a seven hour drive from Houston. I know you think that Houston's in South Texas, but it's not. It's, it's, it's Gulf Coast, but I'm seven hours south of Houston. And so um, when I have to go to Houston for a meeting, it's kind of a schlep. So, uh, we're shopping for we actually know a house we want and that's why I'm doing the mortgage dance um, with the bank I think I've turned in every bit of the homework and now um, we wait and we start packing so that we're believing that it's really happening and um, that's the that's what my world is today and I hope you're staying warm wherever you are and that if your kids are off of school you had a plan to spend with them instead of it steamrolling what you had intended to do today. Be well.